Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like an o'clock, and I'm Pearl. Look at my collar. I'm Pearl of Wisdom. <laughs> and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom B Pow Picks Edition. And you know what all the cool kids in the land are doing? They're going over to Patreon there in the bio, and they're clicking on it, and they're getting a free month. That's what the cool kids are doing. So if you're a cool kid, you might want to do that. No, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, we have, uh, we have parlay challenges over there. We're making money. I give you all a bunch of information. I do analysis for every single game. I give a pick on the total and the line and you can pick which ones you like, but doing that, I'm still up every day. So if you just picked my, not every day, but for the most part, almost every day, certainly for the week. I pick every game, line and over under, and I end up up at the end of the week all the time. So if you picked my stuff, you, you'd, st you'd make money. But if you just want to use it to get good liens and uh, get good information, uh, as information comes in, I change things up and say, put large pearls on. Like today, I actually didn't work out. We had uh, the San Jose St. Louis game found out that Ville Husso and uh, Dubnik was going to be in for San Jose and St. Louis. And I told I upped our bet to large pearls and we ended up losing. But on the other hand, um, Minnesota, we upped it up to large pearls and we hit. So because uh, so, so it, it usually when I do that, it hits. But you're not going to hit every time, are you? No. I got some letters. Letters, letters, letters. This is the Perlo dance. People like it. People always tell me to do it. I hit a parlay today, so this is the parlay Perlo dance. Okay. Um, we have Su Kwan Musa Spichela from Su Kwan was from Korea. Musa Spichela. From, I think that's how you say it. Please help tell me from Israel, and Helga Sorinov, Sorinov from Russia asked, "Are you going to do anything for um, National Woman's Day?" And that's what I did. I wrote, I did all the letters from them. I that asked me that. I just that's what I did. So, congratulations for being women. You you are women. And that's good. Okay, let's go to um, the games from yesterday, shall we? Uh, today it would be today. It'd be yesterday if you're watching it tomorrow. This is the eighth. If you're watching it on the ninth, it would be yesterday. First off, okay, Sharks versus Blues. Like I said, I had it to start out with. If nobody saw my notice, they did really well. Because I had uh, Sharks and Blues, small pearls on the under, or on the over, and Sharks for a unit. And I switched it to large pearls when I found out that whatever. So we ended up, uh, we took the Sharks though, which was paying 265 for a unit. So we made basically half our, half the money back that we threw on, assuming large pearls is three. My, you can do whatever you want when I say this. I don't tell people how many usually. Every once in a while I'll say a unit. But uh, the Oilers really buggered me though. They buggered me. I had the Oilers PL for large. And uh, I don't know who it was because I was preparing and I had the sound down. And I looked up and somebody, somebody in the chat, in the comment section, tell me. Who it was that missed a wide open net to make it 4-2. Unbelievable. Like completely wide open net. There was no excuse at all to make it 4-2 and missed it. Anyways, because of that, we lose on that one. Uh, the good thing is, though, we had a parlay. And two of those were in the parlay were the Sharks PL, the Oilers ML, and the Wild PL. So we hit that parlay. So that makes up for that. That parlay paid four. So we're up a unit basically now. The Coyotes Avalanche, this one is beautiful. 
We have the Coyotes for medium pearls, which is two to two and a half. So let's say two and a half because I really liked it. And then we had the under for, or sorry, we had the Coyotes for one and the under for two and a half units. So if you go the Coyotes for one, that paid uh, 160, almost the same as uh, the uh, San Jose one. So you've got 160 on that and the under for two and a half units paid uh, 195 I believe so it's almost double so just over two units and three and a half units so we're up we're up now this is still going on we have half a pearl I didn't know who was going to win this game so I went with the Canucks uh, ML for small pearls and the under for small pearls so whatever happens there it'll be barely anything if the Canucks happen to pull this out in the end we might be up half a unit or something like that. Uh, Ducks versus Kings. I actually forgot to put this one in on Patreon, but I would have picked the Kings. But I didn't play it. I didn't play it. But I would have picked the Kings ML. And I would have took the over, though. So, But whatever. We didn't. And so we'll see what happens there. I mean, 18 shots. 18 shots and 5 goals on Peterson, who's been fantastic this year. Uh, surprising. And four goals for the Kings on Gibson on 18 shots. I should be watching that game right now, actually. Uh, but I'm watching Montreal-Vancouver right now. Uh, Wild, we smoked this one. This is the one where I told them to up it to large pearls. I told my patrons to up it to large pearls. That was when I found out Stone was out and Peter Angelo was out. So we went from a small pearl play to large, and we nailed it. So up money all day there, buddies. So let's, uh, uh, yeah, oh, yes, I forgot. Hit the subscribe and the bell, remember, and I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace pearlocopter to your door to uh, some of the finest in the land from this finest in the land, Melissa or Hernandez. Helen, my good friend Helen. And by the way, these letters, these letters, um, send your letters. I love your letters. We love having your letters. Uh, we send Guido down every morning. He goes down to the mail room and he comes back up with his letter bag, sack. And we pour the letters all over the sack table and Helen gets up from her knitting of the pearls of wisdom necklaces and we all pearl dance around the table uh, and we read everybody's letters and it's fun so do that okay now where am i going to go to here uh right we want to go to picks for tomorrow right that's why you're here <laughs> okay let's look at that rangers versus the pittsburgh penguins versus rangers i've got the penguins uh, ML here. I wouldn't go over that. Um, the problem is Shesterkin is injured. The Rangers have several injuries. Pittsburgh is a little more uh, is a little more rested, I would say. Uh, the Rangers have been on the road for quite a while. Um, so I'm going to take Pittsburgh. They're rolling pretty good. Uh, I also, this goes over a lot. So I'm going to go over six. Rangers and Pittsburgh play over a lot, so I'm going to go over six. The over might be my strongest play, stronger play there. Uh, Carolina versus Nashville. Uh, if Nashville wasn't playing so many games right now, and I, I got a new one for that now. I am using. Oh, I don't have it. Up. I don't have it up here now. But, um, geez, I thought I brought it up here. No, I guess I didn't. Okay, anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, Nashville's played a lot, and most of them went on the road. Carolina's had a little bit of rest. They're, they just beat Florida pretty bad. I think because, like, Saros is injured, and they're going to keep on rolling with Rene, they just played him back-to-back. -back. He's a 39-year-old goaltender. Uh, I'm leaning... Definitely Carolina here, probably in reg, because it's only 148, so I'll pay about 175, something like that. 
you could go on the spread maybe even and get the 230 if you want to really get all funky right uh, as far as the total is concerned I'm gonna go over five and a half all day here especially I think Nedeljkovic might be in though it might be a little difficult I wouldn't do all day if Nedeljkovic is in for Carolina because he's the better goaltender but if Reimer's in I think I will Nashville's power play is starting to get a lot better now uh, and just their overall energy since Duchesne left believe it or not who by the way I've heard from several players in articles and stuff saying that he whined a lot so he might to be an energy destroyer there but Carolina is too strong I'm probably going to be taking Nashville more down the road but not against Carolina uh, Islanders versus Boston at five and a half get on this right away because I can't see this line staying at five and a half uh, I admit Islanders are scoring a little more this year they're not playing as good a defense this year but Boston Islanders are under pretty much all the time uh, Boston just lost one nothing against New Jersey they couldn't score against uh, Wedgwood New Jersey's third string goaltender and a poor defense so you now you're gonna go up to against the Islanders who have been starting to put it all together this year now and play their system uh, I'm gonna take the Islanders ML I'm gonna take the Islanders ML and I'm gonna take the under five and a half Philadelphia Buffalo uh, I got to go Philadelphia still, but I'll tell you what, Philadelphia is worrying me. Uh, I just, Buffalo just doesn't have anything. They don't have anything. I got to go Philadelphia and Reg, and because they're either going with Johansson or Hutton, I got to go over, and Philadelphia's defense is poor. So even Buffalo can score against Philadelphia's defense right now. So are they giving you five and a half here? Woo, yeah, five and a half for sure. Over, over. Okay, Washington, New Jersey. I'm taking Washington. Possibly PL. They're not going to do what Boston did and not score. Although Blackwood should be enough. Maybe they'll roll with Wedgwood again after Wedgwood stopped pucks for them because Blackwood hasn't been very good. Regardless, I'm going to go with Washington. Um... I'm going to lean the under here. You're getting good juice for it. And I don't think New Jersey is going to score enough against Washington in this game to push it over. So unless Washington really blows him out, I think this could either be a wash or an under. Columbus versus Florida. I thought Columbus was getting back to their mojo. Uh, and uh, their loss against Dallas was horrible. Really, really horrible. They could turn it around here, but against a Florida team that outworks, you know, isn't going to get outworked, I can't see it. Uh, I will stick with, oh, let's see if Bobro, uh, they're probably going to put Bobrovsky in net here. <sighs> I'm going to lean over. I'm going to lean over, only because Columbus isn't playing like they normally do. Florida should be rested here on this one, too. Uh, I wish I would have had my week to week here, but I'm going to take Florida anyways. Um, what's the money line paying? 178. That's not bad. Pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I would go in reg. You can if you want to juice it up a little bit, give it a shot. I, I'm safe. I like to play safe. Uh, Winnipeg versus Toronto. I'm going to take a flyer on Winnipeg here. Uh, I'm going to look up the weekly thing just while you're here. What the heck? It's bugging, bugging me. Left wing lock. Left wing lock. It's the best there. I said it. Okay. What have they played? Toronto and there was a reason why I took Winnipeg here. Uh, Toronto's played a lot of hockey. This is the first game back off of a long road trip. Now they did lose to Vancouver, but uh, and they're gonna have fire in their belly. But Winnipeg is playing unreal right now. Um, they were at Montreal and now they're going to Toronto. 
You know what? One, two, three, four. Ooh, boy, that's five games in seven nights. No, I'm taking Toronto. Sorry, changed my mind. Five games in seven nights. I know Winnipeg's a strong team, but I'm taking Toronto, and I'm, I'm taking the over there. Those teams play over all the time, uh, just kind of on a trend. Plus, they're, you know, Toronto could score like crazy. Uh, now they got some rest in them, so... I'll go with Toronto on that game. I may switch that to an under here in the next. Uh, I'm on the fence on that. I'm on the fence on that. Okay, let's look at Tampa Bay versus Detroit. They got to go Detroit in, in PL Detroit. The only problem is if you look at the trends, Detroit has a pretty good uh, record against, usually in Tampa though. But I'm pretty sure Vasilevsky will be in that here. Uh, Detroit will give it a good go, but they're still injured all the heck. I don't think Larkin's coming back. No, I remember reading Larkin's not coming back soon, so they don't have their number one center. I mean, on paper, Tampa should absolutely destroy Detroit here. I think they will as far as the total is concerned. Are they going to destroy them enough to get over five and a half? Can De Detroit score enough? Um, I think it might be under here. I think he might have to go under here. I think Montreal just scored on Vancouver again. Uh, or is it one nothing still? Okay, anyways, I don't know. We'll take a look. Uh, Chicago versus Dallas. I'm going to, I'm going to lean Dallas here. I really like Dallas. Uh, the way they're moving in the last little while. Um, Subban and Net, I'm just with Hudobin and Net, I think they'll eke it out. Uh, probably an under, though. I would say under five and a half, Dallas ML. I don't really like the juice you're getting on that ML because Chicago's a lot better than that. But I'm seeing a different Chicago town. I'm seeing chinks in Chicago's game now. Uh, yeah, I, I'm probably fading this. I'll tell you that right now. But since I got to pick a team here, I'm going to go with Dallas at home. Uh, Chicago's also been on the road for a very long time. So what's the NHL weekly schedule? We'll look at that real quick. We like to look at those schedules. Yeah, this is... Uh, well, oh, that's not it. Chicago, Tampa Bay. Sorry, they were home against Tampa for three. Now they're playing against Dallas. That'll be four games in six. And Dallas, one, two, three, four, five games in seven. See, I don't like this game. The only thing I like about this game is the under. So close. So close. Sli I, I, I don't know. I'll probably change my mind tomorrow. That's the reason why it's a good idea to become a patron member. A patron. Because I'll think this over. I'll look at other trends and everything. And I'll come up with a pick for that. But that's my full 42%, boys and girls. That's all I have to give you today. Hope you've enjoyed this fine programming. Because I sure have enjoyed having you. I really would like to have you put comments in the comment section i tell people to do it and they don't oh why not talk tell me what you picked tell me what you like tell me what you don't like tell me anything and hit the like and subscribe i'll hit you on my i'll send you a my nhl pearls of wisdom necklace if you would like to have one anyways maybe even sooner because you know you need one right away right right you might not be able to wait for the pearl copter to get there go to any store any any store that sells things and just ask, just say, where's your pearl, pearls, uh, pearl necklace section, and uh, and say, can I, do you have, can I, can you show me to where the pearls of wisdom necklaces are, and then uh, maybe do a TikTok or you know record that and send that to me. That'd be that'd be fun. That'd be good TV right there. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.